guys, this is Aaron Lim and in this video I'm gonna make a quick ROM review of this Nintendo Mod 10.1 Beta 5 that performed on my Samsung Galaxy Ace So as you know, it has the Android 4.2.1 which allows you to add the widgets to the lock screen So I'm so to the right to enable the camera, so I'm not going to show you now So cool features, this can actually enable the flashlight by pressing the home button how to enable it, I'm going to show you right now. Open your settings. Go to lock screen. Button action. Long press home button. Yes, you can enable the flashlight, toggle sound, play or pause music, previous song, next song, no action as well. As well as the back button and menu button and lock screen. Okay, this is the home screen, triple shade, and again. The notification bar. Uh, pull down to view your notification but I don't have any notification right now so this is the button to view your toggles your quick panel um, I've enabled the set uh, the pull down from the setting you can just uh, pull down from the right side to view your toggles uh, you can pull from the middle to uh, view your notification so you don't need to pull down and then press this to view your toggles so it's pretty useful put that pull down from the right side can enable the uh, screen brightness you can change your sound mode your Wi-Fi or Bluetooth you can just enable in the settings uh, system quick setting panel tighten a layer so you can just play around with it pretty nice okay I'm gonna show you the change log of this ROM the developers added the Google Talk into this ROM. The browser, uh, Wayland added the Google Chrome scene from your Google Chrome. I'm gonna show you right now my bookmark. Yes, that scene from my Google Chrome. Okay. Uh, video player that had some play issue are fixed. So I'm gonna show you right now. I'm gonna play a music. Uh, it's actually a Chinese New Year MV, but okay, start again. Okay, playing. This is this video in is in 360p, but I'm not sure whether it can play 480p or not. But it, uh, you can play in portrait mode as well, landscape without problem. In YouTube too, the YouTube counter uh fixed. Let me just open the. YouTube wait for it to load for a while um, okay view one of my video I'm sorry guys I long time didn't update my video okay my new intro video uh, playback is very good you can play in HD Yes, it's in HQ mode without problem. As you can see, you play in portrait mode as well again. See? Okay, back. And now, uh, the default music player is again the Android music player, nothing changed. Okay, but I ported the Google Play Music into this ROM. It's working pretty well, and the camera, um, camcorder, hardware acceleration, and again you have touch focus on this camera app. Let's take a picture of it. Very fast and nice. You can change your settings, your flashlight mode, and or you can just long press it. To change your settings, your flashlight, change to auto, camera setting, or shutter, 5 megapixel, uh, JPG quality, I change to super, okay, nothing else, can change to video, and again, hardware acceleration is better right now, no more laggy, uh, panorama, I think, is not working, yeah, it's working, but, uh, yeah, it's not working. Anyway, okay. 
as long as they can take feature, right? So multitasking, I'm gonna end all the application that I just open it. Ah, you no need to swipe all. You can just tap this to end all your applications. Yeah, very good. Right? And uh, okay, I recommend to you guys, Ace will lag sometimes. Not sometimes. Um, almost every time so I just downloaded a, an app it's called it's called uh, Red Booster Pro it's pro version if you guys want I can upload the APK for you guys um, you can play around with it you can clear the catch settings and oh yeah I have this small button right here but you can't see it I just I put into transparency mode right here you just tap uh, if your is is lagging you can just tap here to boost your RAM okay it's called overlay widget settings okay I'm gonna show you the transparency okay right now it appear right here tap this to boost your phone but I change it to transparency but I, because I don't want to see it okay it will blocks my notification okay I've added to the uh, the widgets to the home screen as well see when I tap it, it will show the memory free, blah 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 blah. It's very good, trust me, you can try it. Yeah, very good. And yeah, I think that's good guys. Hope you liked this video. Please hit the like button. Comment down below if you have a problem. So I will see you in my next video. This is Edward Lim. So goodbye.